The dreaded spaghetti monster. We've all been there. And if you haven't, oh, you're going to. If you have a 3D printer or you know somebody who has one, they're going to talk about, oh, my print went to spaghetti. It's when your print doesn't adhere to the bed completely and starts moving. And then you have this wonderful thing coming out. All the filament and it's all over the place. First thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is take this and throw it away. Don't worry about it, okay? Next, we're gonna clean off this wonderful build plate. We can actually pick it up or we can just take a paper towel and a bottle of blue liquid. That's right, just use some glass cleaner and a paper towel. You can use something like isopropyl alcohol. Woo! 70%, 91%, 93%, whatever the percentage is, it doesn't matter. We're going to clean the plate first. So you're going to take your paper towel, you're going to take your blue bottle, and you're just going to clean off the plate. We don't want to touch it with our hands or anything because that will just add more oils to it. Sometimes you'll be able to wipe this down and really see how dirty these get. Remember, in my area, I am in a garage, so it is not the best area for this. But, it's what I have, so I make do. I'm going to take my temperature. I'm going to put it up to 140 for the nozzle and 60 for the bed. Now it's going to start to heat up. You're going to hear the fan turn on. There's that wonderful fan. As you can see, the temperatures are rising. We're going to let that rise up. Before we start doing the manual leveling and then the auto level of the uh, 49 uh, different spots. I want to do this. I'm going to l raise it up all the way I can to 19, come on now, focus, 19.99 millimeters high. Just enough to get that little brass brush underneath. It's already hot, but not too hot. So it's going to get off everything that's on that nozzle. Remember, if you have something on that nozzle, it's not going to want to come off of it sometimes. I'm gonna press my level, confirm. As you see, the machine's gonna to start to move. It's gonna do its wonderful little thing. The bed itself may have been out of level or it may have just been dirty, or it could have been both. So I'm going to deal with it like it is both. I believe. Now we take the best thing we have in our toolbox, the regular white piece of paper. As you can see, it's moving all over. That little wheel that's underneath, we're going to turn that, we're gonna turn that clockwise as it's raise, letting the bed raise up. Now, if you have just a stock machine, you have the wheel and the springs. I have the wheel and little silicone things. I put those on that I had, I had a whole bunch of them. Paper's still moving freely, but I want it to move. So it's just giving me a little bit of a a little bit of a tug, a little bit of a scratch, but yet I can still get underneath it. Not sure if you guys can actually hear that, but. That scratching is what we want. Now I'm gonna do that for the rest of the, uh, for all six of the uh, spots. and make sure that everything is good.
All right, all six spots are done. Now I'm going to come back over and I'm going to press that, press that home button. Machine is going to home up right into the middle, and then it says auxiliary leveling completed. Press confirm to auto leveling immediately. Press cancel will clear the previous auto leveling measurement data. What I'm going to do is press confirm. It's going to show it's heating up. It's heating up already to 140 over 60 there. And it's going to do all 49 points on this machine. Some of the other Elegoos are have more or less, blah, blah, blah. It'll home first here in the middle. Then it'll start over here, 1 through 7, then 8 through 14, and so on up to the very last corner in the back with 49. Okay, we got all 49 points done now. As you can see, it came back to the middle. It's going to uh, do its leveling there. And then it's going to say, pay attention to the distance between the nozzle and the bed. About the thickness of a sheet of A4 paper can be adjusted by Z uh, offset. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to take this little thing and I'm going to take our wonderful tool of piece of paper. I'm going to slide underneath. You can tell there's no resistance whatsoever. So, we already did all the manual leveling, leveling with the wheels. Now we're going to do the leveling digitally. So, right now it's at negative 1.91 millimeters. I'm at the 0.1 millimeter range right now. And I'm just going to press down to point to uh, negative 2. 0.01, which actually has some good resistance right there. I'm going to move it over here to the 0 0.01 millimeter, and I'm just going to move it down once. It's all right. It's getting pretty harsh. Let's see if I can actually let you listen to that a little bit. Now, if I come back up, just one button, you can see the resistance is easier. The sound is better. Wow, look at my hand shape. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. I'm going to come up to 2.03, negative 2.03, I'm sorry. And the resistance is a lot lighter. So I think I'm going to go with that. But that's the same sound right there, actually, that I was getting when I was doing the manual adjusting. So to I'm save these, just press the back button. You see the machine moves up. It has saved everything. Now I'm going to go into my print. And I'm printing a little Pokemon thing for my son. So he picked out some really cool filament and everything. And uh, we'll uh, see what happens, so... Now that I have everything done, we've got the filament already on and everything from, as you saw before. And uh, I am going to let this just go for about six hours and I'll show you the print afterwards. Hopefully I won't have any mess ups, but as you can see, that was as simple as it was. I've already shown you how to level this machine in another video, but... This was more on the fly. This was more realistic of how to do it and why to do it. So if you have any questions, please put them in the, uh, in the comments. Um, I'll also put the little uh, Pokemon uh, STL in the uh, description. <clears throat> I found that on Thingiverse, I believe. And um, please let me know if you would like to to know anything more about this machine.
Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Okay. So five hours, 34 minutes. La. Like a. I like it. But that's all you have to do. So, um, if you have a problem with your printer, if it goes all spaghetti on you, don't worry about it, okay? These things happen. It happens with everything in your life. So don't go crazy about it. Um, don't give up on your printer either. Uh, I've seen a lot of people start their printers. Uh, their, their whole, the whole idea of it gets daunting. Um, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so much. I'm a dumb person, okay? I am not smart. And I can do this. I can make these. I can find the stuff on Google. So I can understand how to do this. That's what I'm just putting out to you guys. I'm dumb. If I can do this, so can you. Just have the patience for it. That's all you need to do. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this helped you out.